Hey guys, welcome to The Secret History, Living in Your Aquarium. Today, I wanted to show you some new uh, plants. Uh, this is the best one I could find at Petco, uh, but uh, out of the, out of the uh, dwarf hair grass, that is, uh, or miniature hair grass, whatever you want to call it. YouTube may demonetize me for saying the word I, I said that means little people, even though it's part of the name of the product. Um, but, so, any case, I haven't been very fond of tissue cultures, just to be frank, from the big box stores. They do fine in the, jo the java ferns, the tubes they get, things like that. Uh, that stuff's always served me just fine. Uh, but this is, this kind of thing is, they, they kind of slack on it, or they don't have a good supplier, yada yada. Now... I see that they're really, really working on catching up with the trends uh, online and with ADA and things like that uh, overseas. And so I thought we'd take a look at these uh, from Petco and Imagitarium is their brand name. They had a bunch of, uh, of these plants that were being produced by some third party in bags and they would have... Um, uh, a label you've probably seen them in some of my other review videos but they'd have a label like this one where they punch what kind of plant it is and you can kind of actually see which plants they have here and and it looks like now they're they're doing mid-ground foreground and background in these cups um and then they you know these are the in theory the the bigger ones i guess here even though this this shouldn't be in that group but i mean if we look at the other ones it looks like uh lobelia cardinalis gets big uh you know barclay longifolia gets huge uh well crypt doesn't so i guess this list is just maybe it's just everything they're offering now they've revamped the list so um but imagitarium is their brand and it looks like there's very little gel in there um, which would have all the nutrients and so forth that these plants need while they're uh, on the shelves and being shipped in transit. Uh, but the really exciting thing that I actually saw and I was like, that's cool. I really am, am excited that they're, uh, that they're making these are, are these multi-packs of uh, different plants. Now, the amount, we'll see when we pull it out uh, how, just how teeny it is. But it's kind of like a little starter setup. And in here, we've got, uh, I think it's Crypt, un Crypt Undulata. Let's see here. Uh, it is it uh, Alternanthera uh, Renickii, Ludwigia uh, Ar Arcuata, um, We've got Anubius Aphrazilii, and uh, then the uh, Microcarpaea uh, minima. So that's, uh, you know, those are kind of interesting. The, this doesn't really look like AR. It looks like Crypt Undulata, which, yeah, there's... Oh, maybe that's maybe that is what they they just the punches are just terrible apparently. So we've got Ludwigia arculata and Cryptocorn undulatus red. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. So um, the Anubius boy, that is about the smallest Anubius clipping I've ever seen. But this thing I think was was it eleven ninety nine I think, and so. It, depending on what the plan is, if it's something like uh, like a grass that's going to grow well or crypts, uh, you might be able to get like two or three plants out of this, I would guess. We'll, we'll take a look. So let's let's open this up in a sec. I'm not going to sh show you guys uh, my, me cutting it and washing it. You guys can check out other videos on how to prepare tissue cultures. But we're going to see how much is in this. These are $9.99. And uh, the, the plan is I've got the tank all set up over there. And so I'm going to put some of these in there. Uh, and I like the combination, really, that they selected for this. Uh, I like I love Crypt Undulat. It goes great with Crypt Pink Flamingo or um, the uh, Spiralis Red Tiger. Those three together, those crypt species, are, are great. Um, as for uh, the Ludwigia arcuata, it has very uh, fine needly leaves uh, at the top that can be kind of a golden and bronze color. I really like that, too. 
and then as for the uh, Anubius, that's going to take forever to grow. But the uh, Microcarpeia uh, minima is actually a really cool plant that I haven't seen in, available in, uh, in any sort of... Uh, uh, tissue culture anywhere lately um now ada and afa and um you know uh uns all those people boost plant uh maybe even petco there's so many co companies now getting into this venture i have to say most of the plants look like garbage on the shelf this was the only good multi-pack and this was the best of all the plants they had there. And I don't know, this might be enough to actually start up the, the, the tank pretty well. But we're going to pause this. We'll catch back up when I lay it out to show you how much I got out of each container. And then I'll kind of compare uh, and contrast, tell you a little bit compared to other brands, what I think by the looks of things. And then we'll find out in the long term if you just check in with other videos uh, how well they fare. Uh, I assume that they're all going to do about the same. Uh, if they look healthy, they're probably going to transition fairly similarly to all the other tissue culture brands out there. But yeah, so please uh, like, subscribe if you'd like to see that uh, change over time. And hang tight and we'll get um, we'll get these unwrapped and cleaned up and we'll see what's in them. All right. All right, so here we have the uh, the tissue culture cup, uh, the the nine ninety nine one. This is the dwarf hair grass, and you know I'm not actually happy with this. Uh, you can see that the roots. Uh, sorry, my hands are all dirty from being in the tank, but you can see that there's. I don't know what if it's fungi or what. That sometimes happens from extra extra nutrients and things. That should wa wash off. I'm not too worried about that. Like sometimes I've seen cups really moldy and they'll actually bounce back. But the problem here is that so you see how the grass was grown. They inoculated these little points. Uh, you can watch my video uh, if you search for how tissue cultures are made. And they inoculate a little point and you can kind of make out there's a, a bundle there and a bundle there and a bundle there. Uh, well, usually higher quality uh, brands of these plants and things you'll get a, a little bundle and you can break it into like 10 now what happened here is I broke up the bundle and the roots are not really fastened together like they're just all for their all all for their own so I don't know if they're going to take that way that and they'll float all over the tank which is a pain but that being said i mean it's a decent even even so it looks like we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen a dozen or so starts this is a plant that will send runners through the soil and so we'll see how it goes uh i might go with glosso or something instead anyway or monte carlo uh in the new tank but we're going to start with this. We'll see how it takes, if it takes. Uh, the thing that annoys me is when grasses die like this, really fine grasses, is that they'll turn yellow. Uh, sometimes like corridors and things like that will dig them up. So it's always good to let them get their root first, like when you're tank cycling, if you're doing an aquascape. Uh, but the other annoying thing is that when they die, a lot of times uh, pieces will die at the top and they'll float up and they're yellow. They'll cause ammonia. But then there's like a, a ball of where you tucked it in that dies too. So that's just one thing to keep in mind uh, as you're working with grasses and really fine little plants. So let's open this pack next and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, hold up. All right, so we got these open and some of them are definitely better values than other others i should say uh some of them we definitely have things like in the crypt uh the cryptocurrent undulata definitely root bound uh there was like no uh gelatin auger uh agar however you'd like to say it uh in there um uh, it was all taken up so it, this thing has been growing for too long in its little container and as you can see this plant was trying to grow in that container there. Uh, so it looks like we got four very uh, well-rooted plants. That's good. They look healthy. 
So it looks like the Crips are in good shape. They're pretty bulletproof. It looks like this stuff came out really good, too. Uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed by that. Uh, that the uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that the uh, Micro Carpe uh, uh, Minima is doing so well. It looks like it broke up a lot. I don't know if all this will take. You can see how uh, fine the the roots are. And then <laughs> the this one's almost laughable. Like, Why? Uh, this is going to be a plant that, you know, it doesn't need to be planted in soil. Uh, it needs to just not get sucked into the filter, I guess. There's a few dead leaves on it. This literally came in this one here, and you can see how much, uh, agar there was with the, the, um, suspension. Now, I'd rather they just don't include a plant like this. They are so slow-growing Anubius that this is just silly. But I do like these little containers, even though they're cheapo throwaways. do like the little containers. That is just silly. Um, kind of pointless. And then this, three plants, also kind of silly. Um, but I'd say that these two were a good deal. Maybe it's like that. Maybe in each batch they kind of have two just there for the name plants and two that are actually a decent deal but i mean if you see what you get in a, in a a ten dollar uh package you it's not that far off really in that little teeny cup but everything is so uh crowded and grown into itself whereas in this cup everything was very spread out they inoculated it very very sparsely with very few cells um, you can watch my video, like I said, on that later. Now, let's see how planting goes. The real test will probably be in a week or so to see what all just floats away and drives me insane. I'm going to get these planted in here, kind of arrange uh, some stuff towards the front, like the crypts. Uh, they don't get huge, these ones. And then the hair grass, I'll just kind of start planting around the base of some of the stones. This stuff, uh, I'm going to tuck back in between some stones, and then this, uh, we'll probably keep it really trimmed in the long run, but it'll go uh, in the mid to foreground, uh, maybe try to get a carpet going um, with the hair grass, and this is kind of another texture. So let's get that in there, and we'll see what happens. But uh, before I get this done and you see the final results, uh, also I have merchandise uh, in the form of T-shirts and fun illustrations on uh, jackets, t-shirts, hoodies, I mean all sorts of stuff on Teespring of different shrimp, different fish, anatomical ones, kind of steampunk style ones, and uh, there's a bunch of good stuff in there, a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different cuts and styles made in the USA uh, and made to order. So Check that out if you'd like to support me that way. Uh, and then also Patreon's another great way you can do so. If you want to fund these reviews and me being able to go out and pick up things like this. Uh, because otherwise I just steal from my own collection and I just plant the same things you guys have seen. But uh, let's, let's keep going and uh, we'll see what it all looks like when it gets in there. All right, here we go. All right, so we got things planted. And just as I thought... Certain things went in better than others. The hair grass is kind of okay. But as I said, they didn't uh, tie it all together. And so you get all these little points that grew out without a centralized piece. And now pieces are like literally coming up in chunks. Um, you know, maybe we'll, we'll steer the flow of the water a little higher for now just to let things kind of settle. Things do need to get their bearings. I know it looks kind of sloppy now. To uh, Technically, you'd want to lay this out in kind of a grid pattern. Uh, if, if you were doing this the traditional way, uh, you would kind of do one here, one here, one here, one here, staggered in rows. And you can keep them a few inches apart and be just fine. But yeah, this is really annoying how... Uh, none of the root structure, there wasn't enough growth medium for it to actually connect. So that is annoying. I'll have to just fish it out. More pieces are floating up. That's the kind of the name of the game sometimes with this stuff. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll smooth it over once uh, things start taking. Crips, they're doing great. 
you can see it from before. Uh, I've I've got um, Busa Philander in there already. I've got some moss growing on a rock that was already in there, and then I've got uh, some some funky uh, Loganondra Meboldi pink uh, in here. This is just a giant plant, and uh, finally starting to get some of the pink color back now that it's under a bright light. It may end up being too tall for this whole scene, but I was thinking I'd get some more sword plants and things there, and then plant some more, like, small, uh, small, uh, leafed plants around. We'll see. Uh, this, this may or may not take, uh, I've had mixed results with trying to get, uh, tissue cultures to carpet while already underwater. I like the dry start more, uh, for doing that, where you keep the whole thing just kind of a muddy mix and keep the tank humid with a bowl of water and a heater in that bowl and then saran wrap the top so that it stays warm and it evaporates that water out of a big old uh, mixing bowl and keeps everything wet and then you spray bottle mist it down because right now we're going to get all this junk just gyrating up here so we'll see we'll see how much it holds i really did tuck in these things pretty good so if they don't hold there with two different types of substrate um sizing and they're both small or fine uh then it's it's really an issue of the the grass not not being root bound enough in fact there's there's no roots on any of it so that's a bit of a bummer uh because there was a decent amount of it and if it had been root root uh you know not root bound that's a bad thing but if it had more substantial roots, you could have torn that piece up into two or three more pieces and done a whole grid and probably covered most of this tank with a start, and then they grow together over the months. But uh, we'll see. We'll check back in soon, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to take care of your critters. The people around you, your plants, your tanks, and of course, take care of yourself so you can keep doing those other things. And if everyone does that, we'll all be taking care of each other. All right, swim on, guys. Talk to you later.